Story Toby Phillips feels Kabiese's father is a partial man. He is not a straightforward man who anyone can work with. According to waiting, she they follow talk like so, she they take style. Stylishly, she they drag Kabiese's father alongside Kabiese himself and Olori Naomi. Yes, the reason why she they take drag these three people consecutively be say, um, when she left the palace, Kabiese's father went ahead to tell Kabiese that anybody that leaves should not return. Yes, now waiting in be tell and be that. So even if she she could navigate her way through Kabiese to come back into the palace, because of what the father had said, nothing would happen. Kabiese celebrated his eight years anniversary as a custodian of the Yoruba culture and she was not invited for it. So right now she talking, they would certainly make her look like a bad person. She will appear as a bad person in this whole scenario. But what she is trying to say is that she is not a bad person and she knows exactly what she's up to. Nobody should look at her and then all of a sudden feel that she doesn't know what she's up to. Because anytime they come to, she comes out to speak, they would think that and that ain't true that she's no longer in the palace. So what is she saying? But if there are things that are left unattended to, then that is how the things will continue to sprout out. Now, waiting to me talk where the tick tell us be that to say if things are left unattended to consecutively, those things will turn into something that we cannot even handle again. So she wants to address what has been going on between the only father, only himself and the lovely Naomi simultaneously that people seem not to talk about it. That is what she, she wants to talk about it. And for a minute, we will not blame her. Yes, perhaps she has studied a lot she has looked into so many things and then she has come to a realization of a sudden that this is what this is what she feels is the truth so nobody will hinder her from saying the truth so any truth she has to say to us will only look at it if it is really really true or not so what did temi talk i get to say be say that man is a very very partial man he deals with olori naomi uh, showing all the love, care, and affection because Olori Naomi has the Nenika war for the KBAC. If not, he would not have even done that because none of his son's wives that he likes, that he doesn't like anyone at all. And the way he behaves, he proves to them on a daily basis that no matter what happens, he doesn't care. If anything happens to Naomi today, he will go get Tedenikawo and that is it. The only reason why they want to get Naomi alongside Tedenikawo is because well, Naomi is still alive. And if they legally take away the child from Naomi, Naomi can press charges. She will have so many things to win against them. The boy is small. There is no guaranteed security in the palace. There are a lot of things happening that not feel she's fighting alone with Naomi. She has nothing against Naomi. Does Naomi has anything against her? She went for that to say, talk say, now she now been reject all those IVF where KBSC been carry come, say make she do. Uh, but they did not talk about the part where she rejected IVF to get pregnant legally. Now the ones where this person, I am. Um, Elizabeth can't do now be the topic of discussion where everybody go talk about say Elizabeth a supportive person. But she's not telling people to call come out and call her a very supportive person to Olori Naomi because the world knows she's not a fan of Naomi. Yes, yeah, she doesn't hate her. So they should not even think about it. But what thing she won't talk about gone gone at the fact say only father is a big pretender yes and naomi should know what she's getting herself into no matter how they are sending convoys to pick her back from singapore to do this one do that one she should also know that she's getting herself into big trouble whatsoever happens she should know that on this day she Toby Phillips told her that these people she's dealing with are big time pretenders. The moment another woman arises with a male child, which is legally Kabiese's own, like Tedeni Kawo, Naomi will see how the treatment will drop drastically and nobody will care about her. Right now, they are talking about how she has value, how she's a very productive woman, how she's very industrious, she's virtuous, she has leadership qualities. Those are the things they are talking about right now. But she won't, uh, she, she will be surprised, she will be shocked at that point where she has lost it all yes another woman have arisen in the palace to have a son for Kabir then she will see the back turn these people will give her that is what toby phillips has to say to olori naomi toby phillips have said a lot how true is what toby phillips is saying when it comes to reality then we would know how true it is because she's asking that how come they love only one uh, one wife out of many that kbc has
Those are the questions she's asking. And then, you know, at the breaking of this, the online in-laws are saying, eh, if they love Naomi, then let her enjoy the moment, then she should leave her alone. But on a second thought, if that is truly what's happening in the palace, then those people are hypocrites. Yes, because Fabiese has gone to an extreme to bring Olori Naomi back into the palace. If there is a motive behind him bringing her into the palace, then they are highly, highly disappointed in him. Because lately, what they know what, and what they have is that, and what they have heard over time is that Fabiese loves Olori Naomi. And then, you know, that is what we have been banking on all this way, that he truly loves her and he wants to bring her back into the palace. So my people are Stands right now, no, now waiting. We can't hear from Temi Tokwe be that she confused. Say all of these things, no, just they right. Yes, from Toby Phillips, all of these things, not just they right because these people they take sides, they are very, very partial. Hmm. Well, we don't know. We know that Kabiese's father has always fought for Olori Naomi, locking uh, wrong her up in a police cell, locking her up in the palace, um, in the palace cage, uh, making sure that Miriam leaves the palace, telling Kabiese that anybody that leaves does not return. You, uh, his, his, his home is not a chamber to accommodate every single person, despite the attitude character they portray. So, my people, right now, no, it can turn out to be say. Maybe what is she they talk not true, maybe what is she they talk not be true, but since now palace matter, ego boy pour out. We go all of us go hear him. Yes, all of us go hear him. But right now the Toby Phillips has said she has kept quiet for enough and she will definitely say every single thing that is in her mind. She will say it and whosoever feels she's saying too much, then she'll come out, let her know the person. Because she knows certainly she's saying too much truth that the only his father has not want anybody to know about it. And at this point, she's saying the person she pity a lot is Olori Naomi. Yes, because she's entirely the victim here, yeah, despite the fact that they are making her seem like she is the person who is under the enjoyment part. Why did Oni's father not come out to send all the Olori away himself? He has to use Olori Naomi to keep her in the forefront. When they say now, they say Olori Naomi disagreed to polygamy and she sent all the Olori packing. They won't mention his name that he asked her to do so. Hmm. Toby Phillips has some valid points. Yes, yeah, she has some valid points, but how true is what she is saying? As it stands right now, most of these women are desperate and they can actually go to an extreme to do any single thing out of desperation. So you can't even bank on whatsoever they are saying. So how true is what Toby Phillips is saying to us concerning Oni and his father because he says that Oni when he st when she stayed in the palace with Oni as a wife she saw how partial Oni is she saw how Oni chooses who to love part time she saw how Oni chooses who to be around part time but the last time where all of us fully check on top of this matter where she complained that you are not being there for me you are not giving me attention you are not giving me the care I deserve what Oni did was to send her on a vacation to Paris so I don't know which one is true we don't know which one it is but let's wait and see how this whole matter go boil out make we know who is really really speaking the truth